This message is for John Clare. Would you please ring me, John? It's John from the Old Town Hall. Thursday is no good for me. I'm sorry. Happy April, everyone. I'm Turner Vincent. Welcome to my video newsletter. This month we're talking about the 15 minute painting, but before we do that, let's give one away. I have to be honest, I'm a little sad to be giving this guy away. I actually had several uh, inquiries about buying this piece, but I'd already told my newsletter subscribers I'd give it away. And the winner is... Friday will be all right. Jenny Davenport. Jenny Davenport, one fine painting of a bus is coming your way. Jenny, just send me an email at turnervincentfineart at gmail.com and this guy's headed to you. We'll do it again next month. So let's talk about this 15 minute painting thing. And there's one thing I want to make sure you all understand clearly. And that one thing is that the 15 minute painting isn't art making, it's practice, it's an exercise. So think of this whole process that I'm gonna talk about, not as creating a painting, but just as practicing. Just like a musician practices an instrument or athletes stretch and practice many times a week before a game. So this is not art making, it's just practice. Let's go do one. I've got to go out to the left of the day. <laughs> A little history on my experience with 15 minute painting. In 2011, I started a two year apprenticeship with an artist in Boise, Idaho, Gary Holland. He taught me how to paint. He taught me color, value, uh, shapes, the basis of a solid foundation for a painting. And the 15 minute painting process was a big way of how he taught that. And you may wonder, why the heck do you have to do it in 15 minutes? And here is why I learned perfectly why Gary made me do it in 15 minutes. Can you see these bugs, man? My gosh, there are bugs everywhere. As a student and as a beginner, I could take one hour and do a painting, or I could do 15 minutes and do a painting. And in that same amount of time, I learned the same thing. And actually, I usually learn more in the 15 minutes than I would in an hour of killing some lousy painting anyways. You have three main goals, three main priorities, shape, color, and value. Color and value took me forever, and they can all be judged independent of one another. That took a long time for me to understand. The idea isn't art making, the idea is setting time aside to study and to practice and exercise. When the timer's over, stop, do another one. 15 minutes, timer's over, stop, do another one. That's what I did for almost two years with Gary. So the scene I've chosen to do a 15 minute painting of is actually a little more complicated than I would probably recommend, but here it is. Probably something similar to this. Maybe, probably about right here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna lie. I'm literally gonna do this in 15 minutes. There are bugs all over me. There are bugs all over me. 15 minutes, here we go. That was 30 seconds. 30 seconds, my drawing is good enough for me.
Thursday is not good for me. I'm sorry. Four minutes. Friday will be all right. Fifteen minutes. There you go. Fifteen minute painting. Try it if you're a painter. If Friday's okay, will you call me back? Thank you. For April's eBay auction, I'm going with my Cedar Creek morning painting done here in Abilene, Texas. I'm gonna change this to a three-day auction. The last two I did 10-day auctions and 100 bucks, no reserve. See what happens. And that's a wrap for the April newsletter. Can you see these bugs? Ah, 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 ah. If you're a painter and you haven't done 15 minute paintings, try it. It's just an exercise, it's just for practice. And if you don't finish in 15 minutes, don't noodle the thing for another 45 minutes. Just scrape it, do another one, then do another one, and then do another one. And it's just a form of exercise and practice that only comes in handy when doing bigger pieces that have no time limit. Gosh. Next month for the May newsletter, I'm doing a portrait. So I'll see you then.